as you can see, my dock isn't very application filled right now. Well, it is, but only with a certain type of application because I'm doing another alternative applications video. And today it's about stickies. So I'm going to open up stickies. It's a very simple and small application that comes on your Mac and people use it for different things like a to-do list or homework, things like that. And you can use it in many different ways. For example, you can collapse all the sticky notes and keep them on your screen on the side or something. Or people might have a, one space devoted entirely to sticky notes, um, things like that. So as you can see, it tells you here that you can customize your notes with different fonts and font sizes and colors and include graphics. If you hover over the square here, it'll tell you the date created and modified, and you can click it to close it. And if you go to File, you can export the text just as like a plain text document or two other file formats. And you can also change window properties so it's translucent or so it's always on top of other windows, things like that. And of course, you can change the color of your sticky notes if you have a favorite color or want to color code all your different stickies. So that's it. Very simple. And the first application I'm going to show you is called Sketchbox. Sketchbox is a free application and if I minimize this window, it's pretty much the same as stickies when you first kind of look at it. These floating little notes, but there's a lot more that you can do with it. So if I open this window, in the preferences, by the way, you can make it so this window won't op open when you launch the application if that bugs you. So you can actually separate your sticky notes into different categories, and it gives you an overview of all of them right here. Clicking the new sticky button will bring up a new sticky in a random color, which you can change, of course. And there's three tabs. You can draw, you can change the brush size and the color if you want to, you can add text, and you can set a timer for that specific sticky note. Another nice feature is you can take a screenshot of the dimensions of that sticky. So if I make this sticky as big as the shove box window and I click this camera icon, I can actually take a picture of it. So it takes a picture of whatever is directly behind the sticky. So now there's a little there's the paint stroke and it's on top of a screenshot. And that's really all there is to Sketchbox. It's really nice. There's preferences so you can change the default size of the sticky if you want them to be smaller or bigger. Um, just like in stickies you can double click the title bar to minimize it. Or not minimize it but you know what I mean. Um, you can change the default font like the way the text will look. Um, timers and tablet settings, things like that. I recommend it if stickies isn't really cutting it for you and you want to be a little more organized. Next application is Scriblet, which opens in your menu bar. It's a very simple application as well. It's just a window. All you have to do is click the plus button, name your note, and start typing whatever you want. And really that's all there is to it. You can change the color and the font and that's it. If you click info, it'll just tell you the name, size, and date that you modified it. And there are a few preferences, um, but nothing really special. So that's Scriblet. It is also a free application. Um, I don't really recommend it. The final application is Edgies. This is like stickies on steroids, okay? so. It, everything is held in the menu bar, but there is also a dock application version included in when you download Edgies, but I prefer it in the menu bar. So clicking that, you can go to File, New, and here's my little sticky thing. So, or edgy, whatever you want to call it. I can type, but as you can see, it's got a tab here, and if I hover over the tab, it gives me an overview of what I've typed. You're probably wondering why is this useful if you can see everything right here. Well, if I click the tab, it will stick it to the side of my screen, which is very cool so it doesn't take up much space, and then I can hover over it and it'll 
show me that overview. Now it doesn't show you everything, only the size of the bubble, but you can click it and it'll come out of the side of your screen and show you everything. You can resize it like that. There's some really neat features, so it's useful for to-do lists because if you come to the top and go to edit, you can insert a checkbox in any one of these colors. So once you've completed that item on the to-do list, you can check it off. Um, another thing that you can add in that from the edit menu is an alarm. As you can see, it'll notify you when the time has come by any one of these sounds. If I click this little drop down arrow, you get some more options. You can change the title. So you can show your memo list. And they actually do call these memos. So from here, you can actually add memos right within this window if you prefer that. And actually select them and then edit them from there. And of course, you can add the checkboxes. I find this a little easier than actually going up, than actually editing it in the sticky. Obviously, you can customize the color of the sticky and the way the text looks. Um, but the only con to this is that it does cost money. I'm not sure how much. I think it might actually be like $20, which is kind of ridiculous. But if you use stickies all the time, then I recommend upgrading to this application, Edgies. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and maybe it helped you if you are an avid user of stickies. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.